Why would a person want to fly? Personally, I love the sense of freedom that I get when I look through the eyes of the drone. I'm soaring above the trees. I can go as high as the clouds. I'm Keith. I'm from Performance Rotos. Today, we're here to talk about drones. For drones, from hobbyists, we start with the small Yishin micro drones. These drones are brush motors. They are very, very suitable and great for flying indoors. And moving on from the micro brush motor, you go to the micro brushless motor. These brushless drones are racing drones. They can hit speed of 160 km per hour. And of course, you move up to the 5-inch drones. We call them the 5-inch drones because of their propeller size. Moving on, you have the video and photography drones which are used for aerial photography and videos. The video drones are great for memories, holidays, etc. But for the excitement and the rush, it is the racing drones. So how should you get started flying a drone? I would recommend starting with a brush drone like this. Protected propellers, so that you do not hurt anybody. Safe to fly indoor. Use this drone, perfect your skills through line of sight flying. An example of a small micro drone will be an Ishin E010 or the JRC36. Once you are comfortable flying directional flight using line of sight, you may want to invest in a pair of goggles or a screen and move on to something very similar but with a first-person view camera. This is where you will probably start to enjoy flying. These drones need the pilot's control at all times. Literally, finger on the stick. So, if you are able to fly one of these, you can fly a smart drone like a DJI Phantom drone. Not literally with your eyes closed, but easily. So the do's and don'ts of flying a drone. Number one, know your drones well. Know what it can do, what it cannot do. Know the condition of your drone. Make sure that it is in a good working condition and will not pose a hazard to anybody or to yourself. When flying with the others, be considerate because every time when you power up your drone, your drone's video transmitter being the closest to all the pilots is going to give us the strongest signal and that may interfere with your fellow pilot who is already flying and that may cause a danger if not a nuisance. Where not to fly and where to fly? Of course, with the small micro brush drones, you can fly anywhere indoor in your house at home. But don't be a nuisance. Don't fly into crowds of people even though they are safe. Now of course, then where you should not fly? You must never fly within 5 kilometers of any aerodrome. That means any airport. You should never fly above a crowd of people or even above an expressway because that will pose unnecessary danger. There are conditions where in order to fly, you will need a permit. For example, if you wish to fly a drone that weighs more than 7 kilograms, if you wish to discharge anything from the drone, example leaflets, sweets or anything, you need a permit. If you need to fly within protected zone, within prohibited areas, you need to apply for a permit. When in doubt, or when you need to refresh your memory, the best thing to do is visit CAS website under Fly It Safe. You can see it, it will tell you what to do and what not to do when flying a drone. 